Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS both on iOS 4.1. This method also works for the iPod Touch 3rd gen and 4th gen and the iPad all on their latest firmwares as well. So, let's get started. Okay, so before you begin, this works on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3G, which is the 3rd gen, the iPod Touch 4G, which is the 4th gen, and the iPad. It works on all versions up to 4.1. Uh, the Lime Rain jailbreak also supposedly works on any iOS version above 4.1 as it's using an exploit in the boot ROM which can't be updated by Apple in their normal firmware updates. But that has yet to be seen since we don't have a version above 4.1 other than beta versions. Okay, a quick warning if you have an iPhone 4. If you want it unlocked, you cannot update to iOS 4.1 the normal way through iTunes just yet. There is no unlock for 4.1 at the time of writing this. So what you would need to do is update your phone a certain way to 4.1 without updating certain parts like the bootloader, etc. This way you can still unlock using the old unlock method. Now we do have a link, or we will if it's not there right now, for how to update your iPhone 4 to 4.1 without losing the unlock. Click that link, do that procedure, and then you can come back to this one and do section 3. Uh, and continue from there. Otherwise, if you don't care about an unlock, you're using AT&T or the carrier for the iPhone in your country, then you can just continue as normal and it won't be a problem. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to update your device to iOS 4.1 if you haven't already. If you have, skip to section 3. If not, continue here. Now we're going to be using an iPad, but regardless, click on here. This link should open in a new window and then use these drop downs to get the latest version of the firmware for your device so for example since we're using an iPad we're gonna go here Oops. and we want 3.2.2 .2. if you were using an iPhone 3GS you'd want 4.1 right here an iPhone 4 you'd want 4.1 here so again iPad and then click download and save that and wait for it to download. Okay, now we're going to open iTunes. So plug in your device via the USB cable. Okay, once iTunes opens up and your device, whatever it may be, mine's an iPad, but works the same way for the iPhone and iPod. We're going to hold shift, click update, and then we're going to find our iPhone, iPad, whatever latest firmware for the iPad at the moment it's 3.2.2. .2. For the iPhone and the iPod it should be 4.1 or whatever the latest firmware is. Once we have that file, the IPSW file, we're going to click open, click update. and wait for it to finish updating. Okay, once it's done updating your device, you can minimize iTunes real quick. And we're going to go back to the site, jailbreak the device. We're going to use one of these two jailbreak methods. I'm going to use Lime Rain. So you click on that link, it'll take you to that website. Then click on the download link and wait for it to download. Okay, once it's downloaded, we're going to close iTunes leaving the device plugged in we're going to find our jailbreak program okay here it is we're going to right click it run as administrator then we're going to click the giant make it rain button and wait for it to do its thing the phone should be rebooting into recovery it'll tell you to Hold home and power. So do that. Release the power button, it says. So now we're just holding home. And then let go of home once it says in DFU mode. And let it finish. Okay, once it's done, it'll pop up and say, enjoy your jailbroken iPhone. It means device. 
if you want, you can donate at LimeRain.com. Click OK. And you should be all set. OK, once it's done, uh, you might have to manually power on your device. Um, but you'll see the Lime Rain little blank square there somewhere. It's going to ask you, please select packages to install. We want to install Cydia. Then we hit install. And wait for it to download and install Cydia. Once it's done, the Lime Rain for me turned into the drop, which maybe for you it was already that and wasn't blank. Either way, that turned into that. And then we have our Cydia app next to it. Means you're jailbroken, you're all set.